Hello there, sim racing fans. Yes, it's the Sim Rig Racer, and I'm back. And today we are diving into the latest build of Automobilista 2 to check out the wonderful BMW 2002 Touring Car. So come and join me around the historic Monza circuit for a quick 10 minute race while I find out just how good this car really is. So come and join me out on track. Welcome fellow tin top lovers to this Automobilista 2 video where we check out all the latest content that uh, Reza Studios have released for, as I said, Automobilista 2. We are checking out the most current build. Now, forgive me, at my age, trying to remember everything and anything, especially very long build and version numbers, is getting ever harder. So just pop down into the description and in there will be the latest build number that this video was based on. But anyway, we had a big uh, October build, but this BMW didn't quite hit the uh, initial build and it came in a, a new small or minor build as they call it. They just wanted to add another layer of spit and polish, but the Monza, which is paid DLC, that did come out at the time of the big October build. That's up to you whether you want to buy that. Um, there are several layouts. There's classic, historical, uh, modern day, GP. There's the junior circuit, the full circuit. There's even a version with the old, uh, I think it's concrete banking. So if you do buy it, you'll get lots of different versions that are suitable for all kinds of different cars within AMS2. So it's for me, I think it's good value, but I just enjoy throwing money at Reza Studios because I'm a bit of a fanboy. We're in the um, historic 1971 junior layout of the track to take part in a quick 10 minute, what I like to call a BMW Cup race. Now, a little bit talk about the categories that these new touring cars have dropped into they've split the touring cars classic touring car categories up into tier one and tier two tier one is the 70s which is this bmw and the also fairly recently released corvette v8 of which i did a video about there will be a link above my head somewhere and then the Mini and the Lotus, they've dropped into the Tier 2. So you'll get, you know, you can still add the two tiers together in all the uh, race settings by using multi-class. But if you just want to have the same class, you'll get a good evenly matched race, which I think is rather good. But shall we move on to the car itself? And what do I think about it? Hmm. Well, that's fairly easy. I love it. It's just, they've captured that beautiful German precision engineering. The car feels solid. It's really got beautiful very neutral, very sublime handling. You know, this is a car from the 70s. Ooh. And then, <laughs> unless you're a ham-fisted driver like me, most of the time, this little four-cylinder, 220 brake horsepower car, it's, the chassis is so, just so perfect that you can really be quick but clean with it, you know? Now, that's not to say that there isn't enough power that you can overcome the, you know, the thin wobbly sidewall tyres. So you can have fun, but you can also just, you can pick your braking points. 
your turnings, your apexes, and the car, when driven properly, will just do exactly what you tell it to do. It, it really is amazing that this car is, what, 50 years old? And BMW were able to put together such a competent touring car. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? For all of its blockiness, and that's from the design, not the uh, virtual representation here in AMS2, but it's, is it me or there's a little bit of a charm? Got the square lights at the back, the distinctive kidney grille and the round headlights at the front. It's unmistakably BMW. I think it's got a little bit of a charm all of its own, you know. It's growing on me. Now, the AI, as always, receives a, a refresh and an update. I think they send them all back to driving school or racing school. And as is always the case, there is that, not revolution, but evolution. You know, they are, I think the most important thing about AI is awareness. You know, they do seem situationally aware of you, of each other, of the track, obstacles on the track. And it just creates that slightly more immersive environment, you know. It's normally you can tell when you're racing AI compared with them. Um, a fellow human driver but they are getting better it, it, you know like the, you used to get a lot of dabbing of the constant dabbing of the brakes some unusual um, twitchiness on the steering they seem to have coded a lot of that out now you know and the braking and the initial turning seems it's a, a more authentic look and feel to it. It's more believable that there's actually somebody driving it rather than it just following a preset algorithm. It's nice. You're never going to get AI perfect. It's just the way it is, you know, well, unless you've got a room full of supercomputers. So we do have to balance that between, you know, what is achievable on a home PC. And I think they're getting close, they're doing well. What I will do is give you a little sample of the sound of this little raspy straight four. Oh. <laughs> oh. As much as I like a V8, a V10 or a V12, you get little four pots screaming its nuts off there, trying to extract that last ounce of horsepower. I like that. It's the sound I enjoy. It may grate on others, but that's what makes a touring car. Now, oh my dear, you may have noticed, those of you who have subscribed to the channel, thank you very much for that, that it's been a f two or three weeks since my last video. Well, apart from the wife making me redecorate and refloor the front room, which means because my rig is situated in the corner of said front room, I had to uh, unplug it for a while, I took the opportunity to uh, throw some new pedals on the system and I now have some Proto Simtech PT2s which I got from a fellow sim racer and they are amazing I'm absolutely loving them but I was somewhat overwhelmed by the amount of adjustments that was 
uh, available to me coming from my Fnatic V3s and it took me about a week one to get them installed on my wooden DIY rig because it meant I had to level the the um, mounting plate that I use for the pedals because of the different setup but I was practicing with different um, brake pressures travel throws resetting up all the potentiometers but I've got to say they work flawlessly the brake feels beautiful and they work with every sim title I have but I have had to relearn a lot about braking because the feel, the amount of um, de uh, oh, dexterity, the amount of oh, feel that I now have under braking has meant that I've had to just slightly relearn, but it's worth it because as I get to grips with these new pedals, I'm, I am absolutely loving it. I have posted a little bit about um, the new pedals, um, a bit about the sim rig on either my Twitter or Instagram accounts, links to both are in the description if you just want to get a few ideas and a few pictures. But that's it, that's my look at uh, the new Monza DLC, which was, is paid for, link will be in the description to the store for that, and this uh, free BMW 2002 touring car, I love it. I think it's fabulous. I haven't driven anything else since the new build came out. Now, if you like touring cars, coming up will be a link to a video which will be all about race room, where I think I have found the best touring car race room has to offer. So, steady, why not hit that link and see what you think and let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Have you tried out this new BMW Touring car? Have you tried out the new AI? Let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, race hard, race fair. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.